The city says it has a multi-use plan to make the most of that space. 13 News reporter Bud Foster is live at Randolph in Midtown. And Bud, seems like that they want to make it all things to all people. Well, yeah, you know, it's been years and years and years. The city has been debating what to do with the Randolph Golf Complex, how to improve it, how to make it better. And they'd come up with a plan, and then the open space advocates, well, they weren't very pleased. They'd come up with another plan. The golfers weren't very pleased. However, now they've come up with something they think will make everybody happy. This is a win, 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 uh, creating an incredible... Um, recreational space. What to do with the Randolph Golf Complex has been an ongoing debate for years, but finding a plan which satisfied the open space advocates and the golfers was difficult because of one important reason. The reality is, is that the city of Tucson has uh, five courses in our golf course enterprise. Two of them make money, and these are the two we're talking about. So there would be absolutely no sense at all in going and cannibalizing you know, that part of our enterprise. So this new plan, which was born out of public input, is a compromise with one third of the complex open space for folks to picnic, hike, bike, or enjoy nature. And about two thirds of the complex will be reserved for golf. My vision for, for this area is that we have the highest quality delivery of uh, recreational spaces for our community, for tourists. The complex will maintain its 36 hole golf configuration. The North Course will be totally renovated into a championship course able to attract professional tournament golf. And there will be some minor changes to Dale Urich. But the biggest change will be moving the walking and bike paths away from traffic on Albert on and 22nd, improving safety. One of the concepts that everybody got on, on board with is the possibility of bringing the pedestrians and cycling uh, closer into kind of uh, create open space buffers uh, to make it much safer. Likely the biggest or most visible change will be a central greenway, a park-like walkway which separates the two courses giving pedestrians a walking path connecting Albert on to Reed Park so they don't have to walk or jog the entire four-mile perimeter while not having to worry about errant golf balls. What we're doing is we're taking a wide swath of open space and cutting it right between the two courses. There will be, there'll be plenty of space and plenty of, plenty of netting. People will be safe in using that open space. Now, how much will this cost? Nobody really knows for sure. However, they do have a pot of money. Back in 2018, voters passed Proposition 407, which set aside $225 million for parks. Certainly, this will be eligible for some of that cash. The council will vote next Tuesday at Randolph North. I'm Bud Foster, 13 News. Thank you, Bud. Justin, Carrie Lake is asking the 